Hi, I'm Richard W. Ward, and um, I have a few things to say about President Obama's comment regarding uh, Special Olympics and the attempt at a joke. I have a couple things to say before I make my comment. First of all, I believe that Republicans and his other opponents will use this as political fodder, which is unfortunate. Secondly, I also don't think that he intended to make a hurtful comment, and he didn't intend it as a joke. He was more making fun of himself. Um, however, and this is the, the uh, main reason for this comment, is, for my commentary rather, is that First of all, it legitimizes discrimination because people say, well, the president laughed, so I can laugh, um, and I can make fun, since the president did. Um, I, I just don't think it was appropriate, and I also don't appreciate the fact that he hid behind spokesmen when he made the comment right after the election, which was disparaging of Nancy Reagan, he called Nancy Reagan himself. Um, calling Tim Shriver, who's an able-bodied person who runs a dis disability organization, is not acceptable. Uh, why not sit down with a disabled person like me for an hour in private and understand firsthand, up close, personal, not a photo op, what we deal with financially, physically, socially, in terms of health care, all these issues. Come to somebody's house, go to somebody's house who's a real average person um, who makes under $100,000 a year, who's poor, who needs help to do the things um, that he can do for himself, and um, maybe he would then see that the um, thing that he thought was a joke isn't quite so funny to someone like me. Um, I wrote the president an email last night, and I basically said that I had given him $50, hoping that people like me would have a friend in the White House. Um, and while his website has all these um, agenda items about things that he plans to do for people with disabilities, a comment like that kind of um, gives gives me and other disabled people the impression that it's just words on a page, that it means nothing. Um, there's also the, the larger issue of that he has two little children. Children model what they see, and I'm sure he may even if he's talked to them in private, the fact is that little children of all colors of the rainbow are seeing this man they may respect who hasn't had the guts to stand up and say, you know what, I screwed up, I made a mistake. He said soon after the election that if he made a mistake, he would stand up and say he made a mistake. Yes, he did get out there and he did apologize, but it was through spokespeople. I want him to say, our Barack Obama screwed up. I didn't mean what I said, and if what I said was hurtful, it was wrong, and I apologize to all of the American people. Once I hear that, I will take that into consideration, and he, um, will probably get my forgiveness, but I need to hear him say that before I make that decision. Going to a spokesman, or, call, or the fact that he calls some surrogate that doesn't represent me, is an insult. So I want him to get out there and say, I screwed up. That comment was insensitive, it was wrong, and I will try to be more careful with my words in the future. I told him that he needs to think before he speaks. I know he's president, but the thing is when he speaks, his words 
are like a megaphone. So he needs to get out there himself in front of the TV cameras and say, I apologize. I know there are many that will say that, that I and others are thin-skinned. But, like I told him last night, if someone made a racial slur to him, he would be offended and he and others would say it's discrimination. Well, in this same way, it is discrimination. And he, as a president, should be a leader and say I, what I did was wrong. And like I said, I understand that he probably did not intend for it to be offensive. But it's not what he intended, it's the impact of what he did because what he did legitimizes all the things that I have experienced in the past. Thank you very much.